Oh, it's a radiated one. Hello and welcome back to another episode of 7 Days to Die Alpha 19. I'm not only 2-5 and this is a vending machine that we have to check the time in because we're playing Darkness Falls and it's 4.43am. Having a good time with this mod, the first episode was a blast. I'm recording this immediately afterwards because I can't get enough of it. Uh, what we need to do, uh, I think, to kick this one off is just uh, try and box off this next section of quest. Um, so it looks like I've already started digging clay here. So let's do that. We want to gather 400 clay in the top right there and 600 wood, although it's best if we gather 1,000 wood because we also need 1,000 wood for our scavenger quest line. Oh, it gets very confusing. Oh yeah, we had to skill point, didn't we? Let's put that into miner. And we're going to put the next one into miner as well because uh, our mining tools are already level 20 because I did a lot of mining last night. Okay, that's good. Let's just cover the, our shame there. Hopefully that just stops the zombies digging. <laughs> right, let's find some trees to cut down. We shouldn't have to go far. Ooh, they're shooting. Don't like it when they get all shooty. Oh, did you kill this zombie? Good on you, survivor. Okay, beautiful. We just got a mining helmet as a reward there. So we'll wear that. What are we wearing? Worn boots. Uh, much of a muchness. Uh, they can be scrapped. And now we need a thousand wood for this one. Alright, we're thirsty. Let's drink that golden rod. It's going to be a recurring theme for the first few in-game days slash weeks. Me being thirsty. Steel axe is taking up too much stamina, so we'll just finish this one off with the stone. There we go. That's good. We need to go and get some quests from these trader people. And we need to hit it hard today, try and get some decent gear under us. We'll work on the class quests probably next episode now. We need to go out while we've got stamina and stuff. So let's throw our clay in there. Alright, let's get quests. Have we got any active? No. Okay. Let's see what Bob's got. Okay, he's got a clear zombies just here. It's another compo pack one, so could be in for a treat there. Oh, look at that. Generic schematics are actually very important. And ski goggles. Mobility. We'll wear it. Any jobs? We've got to fetch a hundred away. Cemetery. Oh, okay. I wanted to hit the cemetery up anyway. So that's good. Let's go and do that one first. Okay, so those dogs. Oh, hang on. They're wolves now. <laughs> okay, because end loot seems to be scarce in this mod. I'm going to do something I normally don't do. I'm going to cheese this place. I'm going to double loot it. If we're running these compo pack POIs without end loot, I'm going to take any opportunity I can. I'm not going to double loot compo pack POIs, but my experience so far with compo pack POIs is there's no good end loot. Right, she's down. Okay, they've woken up. Not what I was going for. Come on, then. Get out of here, businessman, with your one feather. Oh, two more goldenrod. That's perfect. Let's drink one now so we don't get thirsty again in the very near future. Oh, hello, nursey. Oh, where did you come from? How many of you were in here? Lucky I didn't take a hit there. More loot. Oh, a treasure map. That's actually pretty good. And a hazmat pants. Wow. I believe she's down. And loot the food pile. Oh, more goldenrod. I'm living it. Uh, some iron arrows, that's nice. Gun store box. Oh, we can't modify wooden clips, or can we? No. Just cosmetic. And in here, we need a chest piece. We need armoured boots. And some sellables. And some exploded arrows, would you believe? Okay, that was worth it. You see, that's the sort of loot I need. Now let's hear it again. I feel a bit dirty doing it, but needs must. Okay, let's get that thing down from here, because we don't want them all triggering needlessly. Nice. Okay, well, the bow works. Copy that. Yeah, 
Get back in your hole. Ow! What's that ninja move? Come on then, Steven. Ooh, hello. The knife does really good work in this. Alright, we'll come back in for the loot in a second. Looks like our fetch might be around the back here. It certainly is. We haven't got a bedroll down. That's stupid. Okay, we've got the return to trader signal. That shamway box is actually kind of welcome right now. Two sham sandwiches. Get over it. A uh, bit of stock, a bit of yucca. Some steel crossbow bolts. We just need the crossbow to go along with that. And what's this? A machete. That's going to be an upgrade than our bow knife. Let's just throw that out. Uh, some iron arrows, crossbow bolts, leather leg armor. Yeah, we'll take the mobility for now. Scrap that. Here's yeah, some decent stuff, all told there. Right, let's make a quick run back to base then. Put down a bedroll, probably a good idea. And drop off uh, this loot that we've accumulated so quickly here. We may as well get the quest reward while we're back here. Ah, tree notes. Ah, just take the sign shovel, I think. That's pretty nice. Any more jobs, guys? Uh, you've just got buried supplies. What about you? Okay, so we've got a clear zombies here at Costum House. We'll take that. We'll try and bang out a few quests today, make some money, get some loot. Uh, we can buy the stock and the sham. Uh, we need money. Uh, we've just bought, so we just got some silver and gold. This mod, uh, we'll keep it since we're going clubs. Uh, give me that sham. Give me those peas. Give me that lamb. And we can't do anything with the fish. Give me my clay bowls. Okay, so we can make four sham soups. Isn't that a thing of beauty? And this lamb cuts, we'll just eat that now. Because that doesn't give you food poisoning, the rest of the canned food does. You can make pea soup with the peas. Things are looking at, boys. These hats about the pants are very important. I'm going to put them in the uh, weapons box there. Might as well read that treasure map, eh? And what time are we on? 10.42. Still early in the day. I feel like we're making some good inroads here now. But why don't we go and do... Yeah, we'll just go to the one that's on our map at the moment. Oh, it's this place. We This is the place we did last time. Well, at least it should be fairly simple. Let's take it on. Oh, hello. You're dead. You're dead. These were bikers last time, weren't they, as well? Okay, I think uh, the bleed's going to help us here. Come on. Oh, didn't even hit either of them. Let's get you a bleed. I was trying to separate them a bit. Having no luck. What will this axe do? Not a lot, except for drain my stamina. You need to bleed as well now. And you're done. Oh, I'm, I've got room. Right, you're done now, man. Come on. There's a skill point. The stamina is sucking right now. So I want the uh, stamina recovery. Some sex wrecks, please. Right, there's an ammo pile. That's something. A wooden bow. Get out of it. Okay, we have some people waking up. Oh, football player. Come on, Mr. Football Player! Okay, he's down. He was an issue because he was sprinting. I'm struggling to uh, get some room here. Okay, construction worker. Let's get him bleeding. Outside, outside, outside. At least we can just run around the house if we need to. And he's been draining HP. We shouldn't be too bad to take out. Except for my stamina. Right, he's down. I uh, hope that's a thumb man and not a cop. Give me your medical supplies. Oh, here's the airway up. Oh, they've done that thing again where they break out. This guy is a tool. So we're going to have to drop down. Get him bleeding. I feel like this axe should do more damage than it did earlier. Oh yeah, I forgot thumb man's fundamentally broken. Oh yeah, that does a lot of damage actually. One more. Right, area's clear. Let's go and see if there's any loot up in that attic. Oh, a bottle of acid for the octopods. It even follows me to Darkness Falls. Some uh, nice bookcases here though, so that's good. Uh, bow schematic. Oh, I didn't put the bedroll down again. Get too excited. Uh, bikes. I feel like we've read this one, but we'll read it anyway. 
I would definitely read it this time. It's not showing up because we're not meeting some sort of prerequisite that you need to meet. So we'll scrap that. And when you scrap that, you get a bundle of skill notes which you can use to craft more class papers in the future. Seeds and stuff. Sure, we'll read that. I think it'll only help us down the line when we do unlock that class. Uh, just read it. Scrap that one. Uh, read it. And read it. The pipe bomb schematic is actually very nice. Okay, so there's some decent loot. Yeah, so we've got everything there. Now let's just double check this attic. Oh, repair kit and some landmines. I'm glad I did double check the attic. So we can crouch here. Because it's darkness falls. And it's cool like that. Nothing back here. Is this a different colour for a reason? Nope. Yeah, there's no nothing else to this house but the bookcases. That makes it worth it. Let's use a uh, thumb man's snazzy exit he made for us. Okay, we're not even encumbered. So we can actually go straight to this quest here. Wow, that treasure's a ways away, isn't it? Okay, so we've got the art gallery. Let's see what wonders this place holds for us. I'll search your cardboard boxes. Sure. Blunderbuss ammo. No blunderbuss to go with it. I'll throw that challenge out. It's garbage to me. Okay, that's locked. That's locked. That's unlocked. Okay. Oh, snakes. I've got no real way to fight these things. Okay. They're squishy. There's another snake in coming. Should we nip this businessman in the back of the head? No. Nope. No such luck. The club's actually pretty good to fight a snake with. I feel like somebody might be breaking out. Can't hit him. I have to go for centre of mass here. Why can't I hit him? There he goes. Okay, we got this girl here. Ooh, another snake. Whew. Not messing about in this place. Come on. Hey, you. That's not fair. <laughs> Let me just get some stamina. She's gaining hit points back because the nurse is healing her. Kind of a cool feature, although it doesn't really make sense. Wow, the knife's pretty powerful, you know. Gonna be anything behind these things? No, I don't think so. Uh, scrap iron club. There's a little bit more damage, you know. We'll, tr we'll test it out. I can hear a wandering horde. Maybe not. I can hear like a thumb man or a cop. Ooh, BDU bottoms. Wear them. Potato seed there. Although I haven't even begun to wrap my head around farming in this mod yet. There's a honey in that as well, that's nice. There's a wall safe, is it locked? Yeah, I haven't got time for that. I've got no lock picks or anything. Oh, here's the man, he's been kind enough to... Uh... Okay, we're gonna let him bleed a bit. Oh, some aloe cream, that's nice. Okay, we're hungry, that's not ideal. We're on our way back after this though. Come on, the man. Get up. Okay, we're in our one block space here. Because he's just taking an absolute... He falls over with every hit. <laughs> Alright, how do we get up? That's the question. Because the next bit is up. And I'm terrible at sussing stuff like this out. Okay, that's the way in. Uh, we're just going to have to go outside and pull. I can't see anything. Anyway, anything that would kind of lead you up here. There's a vulture there. Uh oh. This is not what you need. Oof. So lucky. Oh. Can't hit it. I've got no stamina. My stamina was refusing to come back. Oh, it's a radiated one. Oh, for God's sake, man. What have I done to deserve this? <laughs> let me in, let me in, let me in. Oh. Let's try and figure out where this thing's coming from. They're dropping radiated vultures on me already. Okay, let's see if we can get it to come through here. Come on. I'm just going to have to try and take it on. That's got so many hit points. I'm guessing it's regenerating them. Oh, I haven't got time for you, Missy. Oh. Okay, that thing's dead. Oh, give me a second. Oh, jeez. Right then. That was interesting, wasn't it? <laughs> Radiated vultures. They're already dropping them in. Any loot to speak of up here? No. So they put you through all that and they don't even give you anything. What's that? Archery notes. I got offered that as a quest reward. Just a pair of archery weapons, that's pretty cool. 
See, this is the problem with the compo pack of POIs, though. It's... Gee, thought that was my way off. They don't give you the loot that you need to progress in the game. I suppose it's fun just running through different things, though. All right, let's head back to the trader here. We're thirsty again, though. We can fix that. Okay, let's get some rewards from these guys. I think we've earned it. God knows how long I was messing about in that place. It's five o'clock. Uh, baseball bat? We've just gone from wooden club to scrap iron club to baseball bat. <laughs> Any more jobs there, buddy? Uh, nothing close enough. Have we got anything to sell here? I don't think so. Although I have just spotted my bedroll there. Let's just stick that down. Just here. Yeah, the baseball bat's better in every conceivable way. As you'd hope. Okay, that's everything sorted. We came away with a whole lot of nothing, really. Let's go see the twins. I'll take this scrap machete upgrade. Let me have those bandages there. I'll take those pain pills as well, honestly. Do you, do you share an inventory? You don't. Give me all those bandages. What about jobs? Yeah, he's got a fetch that's pretty close. Gas station? I'll do that. I'll try and do that before the the night bell. Uh, we are hungry though, so we need to fix that. So let's eat. Okay, and let's grab our peas. And we can make some pea soup now as well. Isn't that cool? Uh, we don't need all these bandages on us right now, although... Two stacks of bandages doesn't seem like such a bad idea right now. Scrap that. Honestly, let's just put them all down there, okay. And we can take this one along with us in case we get hungry, because that seems to happen very quickly. Food and water's looking good right now, though. Did we just get a skill point? Yes, we did. Permal P. Decreased stamina usage by 20%. We're going to need that if we're going to be rocking this baseball bat. Well, hang on. We had this barbed wire mod, didn't we? Yes, we did. Oh, yeah. At half past six. Oh, yeah, we should be okay. We just got to get there, get it done and get out. And pray there's no dogs or radiated vultures to get us this time. Uh, let's just get our hit points up with these bandages as we go in there. There we go, looking good. Right, what are we doing? Retrieving the supplies. They're up, apparently. I see how it is. I'll search the gas pumps and all this trash quickly. No such thing as trash right now. This early game. Oh, look at this. There's like a ladder underneath this dumpster. Okay, I guess we stone axe that away. Well, that takes ages. I wonder if this iron ship will do it quicker. I think it is quicker. All right, let's test out our new baseball bat. Wow, just a uh, normal attack does a pretty good job. Okay, so let's see what's down here. A bad time, I imagine. We want to take Edgar out stealth if we can. Oh, come on, man. Why'd you got to be such a tank about it? Oh, football player's woken up. Are you proud of yourself, Edgar? Okay, that was good. Uh, there's a lot of gas cans down here. Okay, I guess that's the uh, lure of this place. Hello, big mama. Getting the bleed with the barbed wire mod as well, that's nice. Okay, we've got like two and a half thousand gas out of that. That was actually really worth it. I'm glad I spotted that. So, is there anything worth looting here? It seems to want me to go up. No radiated vulture this time. Okay, so another quest in the books. No uh, passing gas crate, eh? Okay. All right, let's get out of here. Pushing our luck now. Oh, they're shooting. I don't like it when they shoot. Wish I knew who they were shooting at. Oh, look at that. Pumpkin bread recipe. So we've already got a wooden bow that's better. We've already got a scrap machete the same. So we'll take this because it sells for 945. Wow. Thinking these aloe leaves might be a good purchase, you know. Much obliged, stranger. They don't share inventories, but they share like jobs. It's really weird. Yeah, that's cheap. We'll buy them. Alright, let's grab our supplies here. Our clay, namely. It's 2109, so it doesn't make much sense to kind of stay out here. We should really check to see if this guy's forge works, shouldn't we? If this doesn't work, there's some more clay for us. Free clay! Uh, chem station doesn't work. There's an antibiotic, pretty nice. Forge. Forge doesn't work. 15 forged iron, though. That's pretty good. Quite impressed with that, actually. Right, throw that in there, this in here. Let's make sure our stone axe is repaired. Let's bring up our labourer. 
because Scavenger wants us to um, gather 150 wood frame blocks. This wants us to gather 100. Okay, so let's just make let's make 200 because I always like to have more on hand. So that's going to help us for both quest lines. Labourer wants us to gather flagstone blocks. So I'm guessing that means we need to turn this into cobble. Here we go. Let's just make it all into cobble there. And uh, let's get down into the little grief hole here. Eventually, I think I'd like my base to be down here. Close that. And we're just going to tap away overnight. Catch you in the morning. Oh, look, there's iron just there. It's pretty cool. Okay, my cobble's done. I think that means we can make some flagstone blocks. Gather 100. We're getting 122. It'll all be put to good use. So we're making some progress on our quest lines here as well as getting some good mining done as well. It looks like if I was a block over to the left, I would have got lots and lots of iron. <laughs> Alright, that's about as much mining as I can take right now. Uh, can we use this clay ball? Yes, we can make cooked chicken soup as well. Look at this. I like this use of, um, you know, making canned food kind of useful again, early game. Because at a purpose, you can make it use, use straight away. And if the food's not overpowered, it's only 20 food, but it's nice. It's a, it's a source of food early game that you need. So I'm happy about that. We've got three cooked pea soup. And what we're going to do at the start of next episode is we are going to go and start work on the horde base. So that way we can kind of get this class quest done along with this one, which is uh, upgrading wood frames. This one wants us to do the same thing as, as well as placing some flagstone. So we're going to start designing some sort of horde base. We'll probably just do some sort of brute force base design, to be honest. I use the term base design very loosely. And we're going to have a quick look at Bob's wares here. I suppose we could, um, could we get under here. Oh, look at that. Oh, we can uh, make a wrench, can we? Is that what that does? Does that actually work? Oh, yeah, look at that. Forged iron mechanical parts duct tape, eh? I can't get back back out. <laughs> Forgive me, Bob. And you've got a floated lance in there now. He's got a bicycle. He's got a full-on wrench that we can almost afford there. That actually might not be a bad idea. Uh, we've got anything to sell? Oh, yeah, we have, haven't we? We've got that that mod to sell. You know what I might do? I might just put a frame there so when I'm running at him this way I can just do this. And there's the morning bell calling my name. Uh, let's sell that and sell these. So we're up to two two fifty. I'm gonna buy this wrench. It's gonna be better than what we can craft and also we are going to very much need to get some right, engines and gas and stuff. There we go. That wrench is looking mighty fine. I uh, don't need this torch. I tell you that much. And that many pain bandages is probably overkill. So let's bring the food down. Oh no, no, come back. <laughs> it's going down like a garbage chute. There you go, the belt's looking good. The ridiculous, that's one thing I never point out. It's like a 15 slot tool belt and like a one million slot backpack or something. But that's good. Uh, we will do some more questing and stuff next episode for sure. But what we are going to do at the start of next episode, we're going to find a place to make a base on this map somewhere. Uh, just down the road, we'll find like an open area. So we're going to make a, uh, the start of the horde base, make some progression with these class quests, and then we'll do some questing for these guys, trying to earn a bit more dollar, try and find some decent gear and all that stuff, because we're going to need some gear if we're going to take on the hordes in this mod. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. If you're enjoying the mod, let me know down below by leaving a like. And if you want to see daily content on this channel, why not subscribe today? Thank you so much. Have a good one. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.